Hello and welcome back to the How Low Can We Go radio series and this is the third radio we're looking at and this is Decade KK9 and this little cheap radio from China this one came in at a whopping £3.74 so we're now under the £4 mark claims to be a 9 band multi radio receiver now rather interestingly I finally worked out what the FM low is about because on this radio dial as you can see they're actually TV channels so I assume in China the lower part of the FN spectrum is actually used for TV and with this radio you could actually pick up the audio on the TV comes with the uh, obligatory Chinese instructions yep nothing in English at all nothing to help us out with any of the actual buttons and switches but it's all quite sort of self-explanatory really it's all part of the fun of getting these cheap little China radios is the ex exploring the radio itself now then straight out the box I noticed there was a problem with this radio it rattled quite badly and then a little bit of grey plastic actually fell out of this hole here in the side of the radio no idea what that is it's just a hole in the case there and as you can see the case itself isn't particularly well put together and I think it may have something to do with this little switch here because this little switch does absolutely nothing you can't feel any connection here with the internal workings of the radio at all so I fear that this radio could actually already be broken but we'll give it a test anyway also a little bit of the paint here is sort of very slightly scuffed and that's how it's come out of the factory this radio has a rotary sort of tuning knob instead of an actual uh, inserted dial and oh god it, it feels terrible it feels really really stiff it feels like it's actually going to sort of break at any minute certainly not very uh, tactile at all so yeah you know overall well back of the radio is fine you get all these sort of hologrammatic kind of seals on it battery compartment no release ribbon on this one and as you can see here that the actual circuit board is right onto the batteries it's not even actually got a completely uh, separate battery compartment very much done at a cost this radio sort of very cheap and of course this side you actually have a sort of a rotary volume control 3.5 millimeter earphone jack and a charge socket top of the radio very cheap feeling a telescopic whip uh, don't think it's stainless steel doesn't rotate either just sort of like up and down yeah not great not really good ever not good at all so not entirely impressed with the build quality of this radio the fact that it's arrived sort of semi broken but we'll give it a test anyway so we'll start on FM and then uh, we'll run through the bands but uh, anyway all or nothing here comes FM So it picked up some of the stronger FM broadcast channels okay but now we're down into this sort of like TV broadcast band and well it's not receiving anything but overall not particularly sensitive and it might be the actual antenna anyway let's move on and uh, let's crack on into medium wave Facebook not being around for 40 minutes so we'll do 
at uh, after three o'clock. And if you miss any of that, if you're going out, you can't miss it. Need it out of the champion. Let's talk about tech. You can find that on the Five Live website. We can also find a podcast of one of Ireland's greatest contemporary writers. His most recent novel, Nora Webb. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I picked up a possibly about three stations there. didn't seem to matter how I actually uh, tuned the radio. It only seemed to pick up sort of two or possibly three stations. I mean, it's terrible. Absolutely awful. It's the worst one we've tested so far. It just seems that the actual tuning dial does very little. Hmm. So I think we can see how this kind of review is heading pretty poorly. We have a little bit of in kind of like apprehension. I'm now going to go into the shortwave bands, but I'm not holding my breath here at all. So as you can see here, it makes absolutely no difference which band you're actually tuned into or how you turn the tuning wheel itself. It just picks up a load of medium wave ghosting bleed over. Awful. I mean, there's no point in really having a band selector actually on the radio because it picks up no shortwave at all. And it's actually making my thumb sore trying to turn the stupid little wheel. Terrible. Complete foul. Happy days. Make sure you're listening on Monday for your. So I think quite quickly we've actually found how low we can actually go for a short shortwave multiband receiver and I think this one is a complete waste of time. Yeah, okay, the FM worked, but then the dial's half obscured by those sort of TV channels. Medium wave, well that was a joke. We only actually picked up I think two or three radio stations and shortwave, well it doesn't exist, it doesn't pick up shortwave. Now interestingly, I do have an even cheaper cage radio on its way from China. Although that's actually not a multiband shortwave radio. But that about wraps this one up. So as always, I'd just like to say thanks for watching, tune in again, and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye now.